This is a screencast of Chapter 3 homework. It's due on August 23rd. And I'm going to scroll through here a little bit. It's on two pages. Please pause it to look at solutions. So I'm going to look at number 11, 13, 23, And 29. Um, in terms of going back here, number 11 was a little bit kind of most of a pain. I really do wish I had a quadrile notebook for this. Maybe next year I'll get one. I'm working away from doing pencast to these screencasts because the software for pencast has gone to crap. Anyhow, um, 11a basically gives me something in terms of vectors. I need to find a resultant and an angle. So I'm going to use a little different way of using uh, nomenclature for angles. So this was 4i hat minus 6j hat. The magnitude is simply Pythagorean theorem, which is 7.2. Angle, inverse tangent of this 6 divided by that 4, 56 degrees. So it's 7.2 at 56 degrees below the plus x axes. B, C, D is down here which is for a different problem that I screwed up. So um, for this one, I'm 63 degrees above the negative x-axis for C, 58 degrees above the positive x-axis for R, for D, um, 72 degrees below the positive x-axis. You could also have said clockwise of the positive x-axis or counterclockwise, depending on how things go. Below the positive x-axis would be clockwise. You could also use, I think, north of east and things like that. I think that would be acceptable um, on your exam. I don't think you're really going to have to say it that much. Um, for 13, you're given vectors a and b, and you want to find c. So we group the terms. So c is 4 minus 3i hat and negative 2 plus 5j hat. So that's 1i hat and positive 3j hat would be equal to c. Um, I don't know why I scribbled out the same answer that I ended up getting over here. So the magnitude is 3.2. The angle about 72 degrees. And that is above the x-axis. So here we've got vector a, which is negative um, 2j and positive 4i. Vector b, negative um, 2i. Or wait, pardon me, a negative 3i and positive 5j, and then this would be the resultant. So if we added a and b tip to tail, it would end up at that same spot. Number 23, so there's a picture which I probably should have drawn, but it's in your book. Um, had a plus b plus c, b was unknown, a and c were given on the axes. And so essentially, you needed to find out what vector b was. Um, it told you that a plus b plus c is equal to 1j hat. So kind of solve for that using variables. Ended up figuring out that the x component or the i hat component was negative 4 for vector b, and the y component was positive 3. Got the magnitude, got the angle. 29 I like because it's a little more real world, um, although I use the same I hat, J hat, K hat notation for east, west, north, south, up, down. Um, in the end, the displacement is 5,030 meters, but because all these were probably actually one sig fig, well, so that would be one sig fig in your answer, which is 5,000 meters. So key thing with these is just keeping the terms straight and grouping them. 13 was probably the best one to show that. Again, I don't think this is going to show much up on the AP exam, but if you see a multiple choice problem with that, you need to remember what I hat, J hat, and K hat mean. And that is it.